How do you feel the first you know, few days of uh, working camp have gone for you personally? Personally, I think it's been going well just because I was able to get a start right after um, our season ended in college. Um, I was able to come in early and get some reps at um, the two spot and um, learning the new plays and things like that. So I thought, um, for the most part, I've been learning pretty fast. What's the biggest thing you think you need to work on just moving forward here? Just being able to knock a shot down um, um, because I know a lot of teams are going to sag off once they start learning my game. and. Um, Usually, um, they'll leave the two open until you can prove that you can shoot. You know, um, they're going to keep sagging off. So I think that for the most part, I just need to work on my shot and being ready, staying ready the whole time. Is that repetition or is that confidence? Maybe a little it's just more. repetition and um, just learning uh, different. My, my form needs to change a little bit and um, using more of my legs. It's, it's just me. It's, it's me learning my shot and um, just getting reps at it. When you came in, you know, with Simone and Sylvia and some other players, you know, haven't watched them, you know, growing up and in college, you know, was, was that like kind of starstruck at first, or what was that like? Uh, I, I thought it was pretty cool that I was able to actually talk to them. And um, I, um, in college, they was coming to a few of the games because of Lindsay, and we got to talk to them uh, some of the times that they came in or they came to a game and things like that. And also, when I came in, it's like they, they do a lot of teaching on the sideline as well and telling you um, what they know of the game and learning more more so how the Lynx play their style of basketball. So they just keep keep reminding you that to play your game and just be you. And that's what the coach likes the most. You've been talking to Lindsay a lot. You know, did she give you any advice for coming into the WNBA? She also year? said the same thing. Um, just be yourself and play your game. Don't overthink too much um, because once you overthink, you just kind of put yourself in a bad spot, but um, she said just just stay focused and compete. As long as I work hard, I'll be I'll be fine. Just what, what do you make of you know all these new players, all these first year WNBA players? It's pretty cool coming in you know together and being able to you know work through that first year together. Yeah, for sure. Um, we all just kind of learning each other um, on and off the court and getting getting the type of the type of bond that we need on the court has been helping us play together, especially because we only had a couple of days to be with each other. So um, the bonding is coming really quick on and off the court. So I think that'll help the game as well. Talked about improving your shot. Just how much do you think your defense can help separate you, though, um, at this level of while you try to make the team? Um, my defense always get me going. Um, I've always depended on my defense to get me going in transition or um, pushing the ball, pushing the pace. But um, stop, steals, deflections, I've always been that type of player where I, that comes first in my game. Says that she has to push you for more to be able to take it. Does it help you not be tentative at all? Oh, I'm, as soon as she told me that and she, you know, gave me the green light to shoot and that's what she wanted to do, I always take in um, the, um, different ideas and things from the coaches and actually use that in my game because they see more off the court than what I see on the court. And if, I, if I'm constantly getting reminded, I, I don't want that. I just want them to tell me one time and I get it right away. So I've been learning to kind of just take in the coaching and just do what they ask. It's been practices, just constant practices so far. I mean, just how much do you look forward to just a game to get back into a game environment on Friday? I'm looking forward to that. That's what we play for. That's what we compete for. And um, just getting all this uh, practice in has been helping us uh, get focused and get ready for those uh, games and you never know what you're gonna go in and see so just it, it starts with practice so what has been the biggest transition from out of college going into this, this training camp um, just learning uh, when to pick and choose to speed it up and to slow it down because my sometimes I, I've moved too fast for myself so um, I'm just learning that right now, uh, in this, at this level, it's about IQ and it's about being smart. And so learning my pace and slowing down when I need to um, has been the biggest transition so far. Did you follow the Lynx much at all, or were you just so consumed with the college games that you didn't really have time? I've, I've been to a, a lot of games. Uh, more so my last year, I've been to more games than years, the previous years. And um, I just kind of been learning since I was getting closer to that time to graduate. And I knew that that was the next step. I had to go see a few games, um, especially because Lindsey was there too. And um, knowing some of the players and trying to pick, pick the games that I know that I can like, learn from. What is Cheryl Reed, Reed like as a, as a coach? You know, do you see some of the similarities between her and you know, Lindsey as, as her former player? Yeah, for sure. I think Lindsey take a lot after Cheryl. And, um, 
she's been um, really helpful on the court and uh, helping me learn the game at a higher level, higher level. And they both do the same thing. Um, even with the play calls, it's been similar. Some of it has been similar to what I, what Lindsay has taught us as well. And I just think they, they both uh, together, they want the best for you. And so they're going to tell you what you could do and what they think you could do in order to be, be a better um, player.